Black holes are one of the most mysterious objects in modern physics, but I'm going to show you that black holes actually prove that you are a hologram. And not only that, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you something so insane that it will change the way you look at reality and your life forever. Hey guys, my name is Morgan. If you are new here, join our War of the Mind and watch us wake up the world by subscribing right now. Also, my content is controversial, so make sure you hit the bell to turn on all notifications so that you know when something new comes out. Are you and the universe actually a hologram? Many people think this might be some new age bullshit or mystical nonsense, but did you know that this idea is actually supported by modern physics? Is It's not just black holes which are holograms, but in a certain sense the entire universe can be represented as a hologram. Leonard Susskind is a highly respected physicist that has done work on black holes, quantum mechanics, and the holographic principle. That the entire three-dimensionality of space is a projection of a very distant horizon that surrounds us. We're on the inside of it. And so you could say that we on the inside of it are a projection of this film-like thing that's on the boundary of the universe. A black hole is not a hole at all, but a sphere. And it's a portion of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape it, not even light. The boundary of a black hole is called the event horizon, and at the very center of a black hole lies the singularity, an infinitesimal point of zero dimensions. Anything that passes the event horizon of a black hole can never escape, including light. This is because of the extreme curvature of space-time within a black hole. This results in a seeming paradox, but shows in fact that this reality is a hologram. So what is the paradox? Well, suppose we have two people called Alice and Bob. Alice passes through the event horizon and enters the black hole. Bob will see Alice vaporized on the event horizon, whereas from Alice's perspective, she'll pass through the event horizon and into the black hole just fine. What's happening is that both events are actually true at the same time. The information of Alice is both stored on the two-dimensional surface of the black hole and inside the black hole itself. The answer is that both are true. Now, how on earth can both be true? They say contradictory things, apparently. One says Alice uh, gets, let's be blunt, she gets killed at the horizon. The other says she safely passes through with no problem, whatever. So how can that be possible? How can there be information seemingly in two different ways and two different places at once? Well, to understand this better, I want you to think of the difference between a volume and a surface. A volume is like a glass of water, whereas a surface is like the coaster. It's flat. What a hologram allows you to do is take information that's stored on a surface and use that information on that surface to construct a volume. So what's happening is that the information stored on a black hole is acting like a holographic film. And what's happening inside of a black hole is the projection, the holographic projection of that information. So, how can Alice's information be in two places at once? Well, her information is being stored on the event horizon of the black hole, while her holographic projection of her body is being constructed on the inside of the black hole. That there are two distinct representations of the same reality, the same information, one of them, the three-dimensional reality of Alice falling through the black hole. She looks around, she sees herself, she's three-dimensional, nothing has happened to her. And the other, two-dimensional, the two-dimensionality being this thin surface of extremely hot fluid which absorbs Alice, thermalizes her, scrambles her, and radiates her back out. You can see there's no real paradox. If you look at a hologram, it's the same thing. There's the information of the hologram stored on the film and the holographic projection of that information. It may seem like things are in two places at once, but they aren't in actuality. 
It is a projection of information. That a black hole horizon is like the scrambled hologram of everything that's inside. Two versions of reality, two reconstructions of the same reality. One construction or one reconstruction, the surface of the black hole, extremely scrambled, hot, hot bit soup, but containing exactly the same data as what fell in the full three-dimensionality of the things that fell into the black hole, which in fact were unharmed and unmutilated and just fell cleanly through the horizon. That is what we now believe, and there's an enormous amount of very, very sharp mathematical evidence for this picture. Uh, it's not something that was just made up for fun, or the world is a hologram, or a black hole is a hologram. There is very sharp mathematics to it. I'm not going to do the sharp mathematics. A black hole acts like a hologram. Now, how do we know this is true? If we were to measure the hidden information in a black hole, we would expect that information to be equal to a volume. However, the information is actually equal to the area. Going back to our analogy, it would mean the hidden information wouldn't be like the glass, but like the coaster, the surface. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's interesting and all, but here's where things get insane. You see, this doesn't just apply to black holes, but to the universe itself. Remember that when we measured the hidden information in a black hole, we would expect to get a volume, but we didn't, we got an area. Well, when we measure the hidden information in our day-to-day -day reality, the world around us, we don't get a volume either, we get an area. The conclusion is remarkable. The maximum amount of information that can be held in a region of space, this room, is proportional to the area of the walls of the room. You can describe a region of space, any region of space, by data on the surface as if it were a hologram. The entire universe can be represented as a hologram. What this means is that the universe itself operates on the holographic principle just like a black hole, which means this information, everything going on around you right now, is a projection from another kind of horizon. And what horizon is that? the boundary of the universe itself. Everything around you right now, including your body, is a holographic projection from the horizon, the boundary of the universe itself. It is a holographic reconstruction of information. Nothing around you is what it seems, not your friends, your family, the tables, the chairs, and the trees, or even your own body. Everything that you experience is but a holographic reconstruction of information. Modern physics ends there, however, we are able to go so much further. You see, a black hole has three different aspects. A two-dimensional aspect, the event horizon, the three-dimensional aspect, its interior, and a zero-dimensional aspect, the singularity. So, if the universe itself acts in a similar way to a black hole, does the universe have a zero-dimensional aspect? Indeed it does. You see, the universe is a holographic projection of information. But if you were to take all of this information and add it together, what would its result be? The result would be zero. This is because it contains an equal amount of positive values and negative values. And the result of an equal amount of positive and negative values or information taken together results in zero. This means this existence is a projection from a zero-dimensional point, a singularity. This is how existence is possible, because it is zero-dimensional, it is equal to nothingness, and thus it is eternal. Now I want you to do a thought experiment with me. I want you to think about your thoughts. Do your thoughts have any height, length, or width? No, they don't. Your thoughts are zero-dimensional. So what is existence? Existence is a zero-dimensional 
mind. This is a projection, yes, a holographic projection, yes, but it is an inner holographic projection from a mathematical mind. This is a holographic mathematical shared dream all projected within the mind of the universe. Yes, this is a hologram. Yes, this is information, mathematical information. And yes, this is a shared dream. It all links together perfectly. A zero-dimensional mind can contain the information mathematically necessary to create a universe. That's because that information is equal to zero, since it contains both negative and positive values. That information can then be projected in an inner holographic dream world, which is the universe itself. However, we're going to go even further than this. You see, what you truly are is not your body. Your body is just a holographic projection. It's an avatar, if you will. What you truly are is a zero-dimensional mind. Each and every one of us is in actuality a zero-dimensional mind. You see, the brain doesn't produce the mind. What you are is a mind. Your mind links to this body through the brain and is able to use the body as an avatar to interact in this holographic dream world. And when you go to sleep and dream at night, you are creating your own holographic inner projection, your own inner holographic dream world. This is what a dream is. So this universe that we exist in together isn't actually just one mind. It is the information from all of our minds. This holographic mathematical dream world that we inhabit together is comprised of the information of each and every single one of us as minds. When we go to sleep and dream, we tune into our own personal holographic dream world. And when we wake up, we take part in this objective holographic dream world that is composed of the information of all of our minds taken together. This is why we call this physical domain the holos. The holographic dream world that we exist in together is the product of all of our minds together. We are the universe coming to self-knowledge. And as we understand this information, we come to know ourselves as the universe, as an eternal living mind experiencing itself through itself. Modern physics is just beginning to catch up with us. Are you? So this reality is not what you think it is. It is an inner projected holographic dream world. A dream of nothingness since it all rises from a zero dimensional singularity. And it is the collective dream because it is composed of all of our information together. And as you understand this, we begin to wake up as the universe, as we become conscious of ourself as the universe itself. Now, of course, this is incredibly complex information. To use words like hologram and dream, we're being very metaphorical because to be able to explain this precisely, the video would be hours and hours long and the mathematics so complex that no one would watch it. So, to get this information across, we explain it the best we can using metaphors. However, if you want to know the precise mathematics, the information is out there and I'll link to it in the description of this video. Our system is incredibly complex. For one thing, our system is not three-dimensional but shows that this universe is actually a six-dimensional universe with three spatial dimensions and three temporal dimensions. Again, this is a very short video. For more information on this, check out Ontological Mathematics. Ontological Mathematics is the science of the future that will bring humanity to the next level of consciousness. We are a revolution in thought, and when you understand this is a holographic inner dream world, we can begin to shape that dream according to our will. And that is exactly what we are doing right now. As I put this information out there, the information spreads 
and the collective consciousness raises and we can begin to work together in harmony to create this world according to our will. So, join us, won't you? So let's spread this information and make it go viral. Fuck the algorithms where all they do is promote cat videos. I don't give a shit, I'll put a cat in the video if I have to. Just share this video right now, hit the like button, and if you want to know more about the nature of reality, check out these videos here, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, if you enjoy my work, consider supporting on Patreon so I can bring you even higher quality content. You'll get access to our secret weekly live streams and more. My name is Morg, and I am Hyperion, Ad Astra, to the stars.